Hello friends, this video on Forests Our Lifeline Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we have been talking about plants since quite a long time that these plants are present in a forest, this is how the canopy is formed and all that. But is it only plants which are present in a forest? Not really. When you visit a forest, you will be obviously able to see plants all around you but at the same time you will also get to hear a lot of noise, a lot of sounds of different animals and birds. Some of them might even scare you because you also get to hear the roar of a lion and the sound of a tiger. So forests are home to a lot and lot of animals. So that is again why forest needs to be taken care because like we need homes to stay, we need our habitat which can provide us food and shelter. In a similar way animals also need habitat and forests are excellent home to a lot of animals. So whether you talk about birds, whether you talk about insects, tiny worms living in the soil or you talk about animals like elephant, giraffe, crocodiles, lions, tigers, monkeys. So you get to see them all in a forest. So huge variety of animals live in forests. Now the question is when so many animals live inside the forests, now why do they live there? Now what are the basic things that we need? for any organism to survive. First thing is food. So let's see how animals obtain their food in forests. Now there are different types of animals. Now different types of animals need different types of food. They have different food habits. Now one set of animals they feed only on plants. So they are completely dependent on plants directly. So they directly chew leaves of plants or other plant parts. And these type of animals are called herbivores. Why are they called herbivores? Herb means plants. So herbivores, those who eat plants, they are herbivores. The examples of such animals could be cow, goat, horse, rabbit. So these are all examples of herbivores. Deer, which is very commonly seen in forest, is also an example of herbivores. Whereas we have another set of animals which feed on flesh. That means they do not eat plants but they eat other animals. Now such animals are more scary because they can eat other animals. In fact these animals like lions and tigers they even eat human beings. And that's why we are scared to go in a forest. Now normally these bigger animals like these carnivores they live deep inside the forest. So as you enter a forest not towards the regions which, which are located towards the periphery of the forest. But as you go into the deep forest, there are chances where you can see lions or tigers. So that is why it is really not very safe to get deep inside a forest. So these are carnivores. There are a third type of animals which can, which are like more, who are more flexible. They can feed on both plants and animals. So they are called omnivores. So examples of such animals are humans, crow, pig, rat, now, uh, we have been talking about plants and animals inside the forest. You know, a lot of human beings also live inside the forest and mostly they are the tribal people. A lot of tribal people live inside the forest and these tribal people, they are so much used to living inside forest that they earn their livelihood from forest. So they obtain their food, they depend on the fruits and vegetables obtained from the forest. They also know uh, how to handle animals. They also know how to protect themselves from uh, carnivore animals. So, you know, they are completely adapted to living inside the forest. So a lot of tribal people are also seen there. Besides that, animals like uh, crow, pig, rat, these are also omnivores. That is, they feed on both plants as well as animals. So depending on their food habit all of these animals can get their food in the forest because those who are dependent on plants they can anyways get a lot of food options because so many plants are present inside the forest those who depend on flesh they can also get their food because a variety of animals are also present inside the forest so for example if a tiger wants to feed on a deer so deer is also present inside the forest so that way uh, food options are available for all animals inside a forest now it is not only food, protection is another important thing which is provided to the animals by the forests. Now if you say protection, how are animals, how do animals feel protected inside a forest? Now first of all animals remain protected inside forest because they are protected from human beings. 
Now these days human beings now even though in forests also a lot of human beings go for hunting and all but still that is a lot restricted when compared to if they start living in the cities so where vehicles are running here and there the lack of plants so they'll not be able to get their food also now in uh, forests there different animals get different type of protection for example the predators those who feed on other animals so for those predators they can hide themselves to catch their prey easily so here in this case if you see this is the predator because it wants to feed on its prey and the deer is the prey because this animal is going to eat up this animal so how this animal can be protected so if the deer wants to protect itself, what it can do is it can hide behind the bushes to protect itself against its predators. So if you look at any other example, a lot of animals, they uh, protect themselves either to catch their prey or some animals protect themselves behind the trees to protect themselves from their predators. So if you see here, this uh, predators, so from a point of view of the predators, whether it is the lion here or whether it is the chameleon here or whether it is a snake here. So all these animals can hide behind the bushes and wait for their prey to come nearby. And when they see their prey coming nearby and then they can directly attack and that's how they can eat them up. And that's how it helps them to uh, it helps them to catch their prey more easily. On the other hand, the prey can also protect themselves from their predator. For example, this lion is in search of a deer to eat it up. But due to the presence of so much of bushes and trees, the deer has like, you know, kind of uh, hidden, got hidden behind the trees and that's how it can protect itself. So animals pr can protect themselves from their predators in forest because in forest you have a lot of options. You have so many trees, monkeys can climb the tree in order to protect itself. Uh, other animals can hide behind the bushes. So a lot of options are available for animals to comfortably lead their lives. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.